Uh, hot. 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 Suffer. It could be soul crushing. Empowering. Unexplored. Heaven or hell? I'm gonna have to describe it in two words, bittersweet. <laughs> well, the Natural Energy Laboratory is a marine science and technology facility that uh, provides economic opportunities for the state of Hawaii in areas of ocean science and marine technology, uh, aquaculture, uh, solar energy, uh, desalinization of deep sea water. Uh, we are one of the only locations in the world that provides large volumes of both cold and deep sea water to our tenants. Uh, the big building, the large building at the entrance of our facility is called the Gateway Distributed Energy Center. It acts as our uh, visitor center and it's a totally self-sustaining building with respect to producing its own electricity. It uses cold seawater for air conditioning and uh, it's also the center of where most of our solar energy research projects are located. Our road temperature uh, gets up to about 115 degrees and our air temperature right now is probably about 89 degrees. So uh, this is around the hottest time of the year. and. Uh, so it's a big challenge for the triathletes to, uh, that this area doesn't drain their energy as opposed to gives them energy. To be honest, the energy lab is the favourite part of the marathon for me. It um, comes at about 15 or 16 miles and it's pretty barren in there. Not a lot of vegetation, you're pretty much right, running right through the lava fields. But it's a beautiful part of the course. You tend to get a little bit of breeze and you know, I think at that point of the race you can see a little light at the end of the tunnel. But, um, you know, you've got to run through the lab, it's about three miles in there, and then you've got a six mile stretch back into town, and uh, I love that part of the race. You, you actually, there's a turnaround in there so you can take, take stock of where the competition's at, and really you get a good feel for how the race is unfolding. You know, the, everybody talks about how tough it is to run through the energy lab, and it is tough. I mean, you run down to the bottom, it's hot, there's not a lot going on down there. I mean, I think the toughest part is when you get out back onto the Queen K, and, and there's a, just that long stretch along the Queen K back up. Um, so the top of Polani, that's sort of the hardest part of the race for me. Um, the Energy Lab's famous, it's tough, um, but I mean, you know it's tough and you just have to mentally prepare for, for getting down there. I mean, it's, uh, it's a tough race and, and that's what we prepare for.